Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm here with you. Uh, I'll be reviewing a fragrance that is a cheapy, considered somewhat borderline cheapy, um, and it's from House of Animal. And this is my first fragrance from this house. The fragrance I'm gonna be looking at today, it's called Animal Sport. One of my recent acquisitions, sort of like, I gave it like few wearings, so more like initial impression, but I know this fragrance already. It's quite simplistic fragrance. So I have uh, two reasons for me to get it. Um, since I started my journey and collection, I wanted to have at least two fragrances from these two lines, okay? One is Fendi, uh, Fendi Fendi House, like Fendi House, which I ended up buying this one for. These bottles, you know, like this this nice pattern going on, beautiful bottle. Yeah, I'm a little bit sucker for the bottle design. It's nice sprayer here. Beautiful, beautiful juice, you know, it's discontinued. So this is one bottle design that I wanted. So I ended up buying Asoluto. Fendi, Fendi Assoluto. And then I wanted one from the animal line because it has a beautiful bottle design. It has a thunderbolt kind of a thing, very animal like, like a scratch from a tiger or something like that, very exotic. And animal, animal sounds like kind of cool, like, you know, like 60s or, you know, 70s disco era. Animal, animal, you know, you know, <laughs> with your, uh, you know, leopard, uh, sh leopard printed, you know, you, you know, you know, you know, the, those dresses people used to wear, headbands and stuff. So animal, animal sort of reminded me of that. And I wanted to buy Animal Animal because it people say it's a close a clone to Angel Man at a very good budget. But I didn't end up buying that. It was available. It was pretty much around $30, which this is uh, the same price. And uh, I thought in Bangladesh, it's most of the year, like eight, nine months, it's hot and humid like hell. Uh, no point of getting that fragrance because I already have Angel Man. So I was looking for another bottle from that house. So I ended up getting this because this is a summer fragrance. So I would classify this as a woody, citrus, aromatic, fruity fragrance, okay? And I paid uh, about $32 for it with the VAT and taxes, okay? Uh, so it's borderline cheap, I would say. If it is around $20, I can call it as cheap. $30 still cheap for 100 ml bottle, you cannot complain. Second reason for me to buy these fragrances, this is extremely rare. And when I look into Fragrantica, it says it's a uh, close clone of Jardin d'Amalfi, I think from House of Creed, one of the exclusive collection. I think maybe I got that name wrong. And also people say it's something like Hugo Boss Bottle Tonic, which I really liked, but the price was a little bit high. And someone said it's about Chanel Elirom, but I'll let you know what my thoughts are. So those are my reasons to buy this fragrance. So now let's get into the review. And uh, it's a beautiful box. It comes like this, beautiful blue box, almost like Nautica's The Voyage kind of color theme, and it has that thunderbolt thing but this is not see-through like animal animal i think you put the bottle in you can see the juice color this is like a sticker this is like two-tone white and silver and it says animal sport and it's edt i think 100 ml made in france at the back information and bottom you get your uh, serial batch number and everything and it says animal sport up top really like the box it's simplistic but kind of eye-catching blue the bottle here as i told you i really wanted it for the bottle you know the bottle actually is very pretty here you go. So as you can see, if I put it against the light, you can see the light through the bottle. That's pretty cool, yeah? Because the color of the bottle, I think, is blue. I don't know the juice color because I haven't taken any out in my decants. But yeah, it's a very eye-catching, beautiful bottle. And it says Animal Sport. There's a Thunderbolt right here and the, everything is blue. This part, it's sort of like one other bottle that I have in my collection. It's sort of like a galaxy theme, you know? It's very like moonlit night and then you know look, look in the galaxy and shit <laughs> you see uh, you see this this language alum the collector's item it also has this sort of similar dotted or milky way kind of pattern and uh, back it looks like that you can see through very beautiful majestic blue very beautiful looking bottle i, I think isimiyaki has blue blue this set. that one also has that blue glass really eye-catching and uh, i would really hope i was hoping that you know i'll tell you there's a sticker at the bottom you can find uh, some more information. I was kind of hoping this one comes with a built-in sprayer, so that would be like kind of old school style, like the Fendi, Fendi Fendi. It has a. I like this kind of sprayers, okay, like attached sprayers. But never mind, you know. So I don't know how many reviews of this out there. So let me tell you my thoughts on this. So this one, you open it up. It comes with kind of like a budget kind of fragrance looking uh, top. Look, there is a plasticky feel up there. Nothing special up there. This is all plasticky, but this part is glued, I think. See, like the border to this beautiful blue bottle. It almost looks like Daniel Desire blue. I don't know where my bottle is. It's somewhere there at the back. So this is like, sort of like that kind of blue, but very beautiful, very beautiful presentation. Really like it. And uh, it's just nice to look at. Cap is kind of snug fit. 
if you close it okay you can pick it up no problem mm, it's secure so nice presentation nice bottle let me tell you about the smell so i have it on my hand for some time it, it's drying down it's uh, uh let me let me tell you let's show you the sprayer it's okay sprayer nothing really special it shoots okay for the price let's see okay uh, it's kind of weak side on the weak side let me be very honest okay so let that dry down for a while uh, the notes in this i think it opens with c notes according to fragrantica c notes and citrus bergamot uh, at the heart you get peach and i believe there is a woody elements or something like that uh, as long as as far as i remember and uh, base you get vetiver amber and uh, i don't know there was some other uh, notes i forgot totally so basically it's like citrus and oceanic watery notes okay aquatic oceanic and the heart you get some fruity flavors and the base you get some sort of woody amber okay not so much strong on wood or vetiver okay so in sniff it first time the first thing you get from it is it's a very familiar dna it's not gonna be like oh 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 that's new that's new no it's not gonna do that it's gonna be like oh okay i know this i know this i know this dna it's like many other fragrance out there which has done this fruity oceanic blue fragrances okay uh first fragrance i think i would uh, think of is maybe uh that hugo boss bottle tonic the beautiful blue juice but that is like very pricey when i saw it coming to the market first time it was like 60 65 us dollars i was like no i'm not going to do that hugo boss bottle i'm not willing to pay more than 50 dollars then uh, i saw the comparison with the jardin de amalfi never tried it from the house of uh, crete so i cannot compare that unfortunately uh, but if this smells like that lucky me you know like why not <laughs> But the thing is, most part I could think of, it smells a lot like a lot of these summer fragrances, which has note of fruits and citrus and a little bit blue theme to it. Okay, like Aqua Digio, if you ask me, Daniel Desire Blue, if you ask me, maybe Versace Purom, you know, like fragrances like that, a little bit floral. It smells like, you know, you, it, it's like a sort of like a summer fragrance, sort of like a holiday casual weekend uh, if you're doing nothing much, playing basketball, you're just hitting the shower, if you're going to school, college, this this fragrance really, really, I think is good for that. Nothing complicated, very easy to wear, light. You can go absolutely crazy with the sprayer, no problem. You can go six, seven sprays, no problem. So the best thing about this fragrance is if you carry a decant with you, let's say you decant this stuff and you carry it around or you keep this in a gym bag and stuff. Every two, three hours, you refresh yourself, it's going to come back, all right? And it's going to stay very close to your skin after half an hour or so. So projection and longevity, I would say it's more on moderate side. Okay, it's not a beast mode, even though this is animal and thunderbolt and everything, it's not clawing. Uh, so if you do like softer fragrances, fresh linen, fresh out of the shower, fresh clean laundry, if you like being by the beach, you know, you don't want to spend so much on your holiday fragrances. This is, I think, one of those fragrances, but this is not absolutely anything new. If you are new into fragrance game, you have seen a lot of these fragrances that has oceanic blue like low park enzo it has a lot more citrus going on this one has a little bit more sweetness and fruitiness so the fruitiness also reminds me of lychee you know if you like daniel desire blue lychee imagine that stone down so it's very it makes it sort of like a polo blue also sort of you know i'm not saying this smells exactly like that but polo blue sort of the same theme you know <sighs> my god the amount of dust on those so yeah it's a for me i want it for the bottle it's not a must buy it's for collectors i think it's a good fragrance for summer casual but absolutely not a must buy this is my honest <laughs> take on it and uh you, you can buy the bottle you can see if you really like looking at it and stuff you can absolutely buy the bottle it's a good fragrance smells very clean safe nothing scary you can blind buy this if you get it for cheap deal no problem so summarizing it first of all presentation wise i have to give it presentation wise you cannot you know you cannot deny this looks absolutely gorgeous okay this is more like i forgetting that i think one of the stones that looks like this i forgot so zircon no zircon is maybe different anyway anyway if you if you know that gemstone put it down in the comments section below so this presentation 10 out of 10 the smell uh it's maybe not brand new but it's very pleasing to wear it you can go for the gym as i told you work casual very versatile wear it in the summer slash spring so for the smell it gets eight out of ten very nice smell longevity i'll say this is more like a six out of ten uh, after three hours it will be basically very close skin scent 
projection maybe five projection is low so let's say you decan this all right and you spray every two hours three hours you carry it around good fragrance for that before you enter a room spray some you really not be overbearing but people can smell you very nice likable fragrance a versatility maybe halfway the winter time people won't smell shit <laughs> this is five out of ten in the versatility uh, compliments wise people smell this on you they'll be like yeah it's a good office scent it, it smells like thousand other blue summer fruity fresh fragrance so they'll be like no complaints again halfway let's say compliments like six out of ten okay nothing crazy overall this fragrance you know like uh, if you consider everything for the price and everything i think i'll give this like a seven out of ten why because presentation is good price is not so expensive nice bottle nice smell uh, longevity it's not always like the same with all every single fragrance if it had better longevity i would give it like eight out of ten so seven out of ten for animal sport check this fragrance out it's i really like it it's a collector's item, not a must buy, but definitely you can try, right? That's all I have for you today. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Maybe I'll do an episode at night about certain topic, right? See you soon. Good night from Dhaka Bangladesh. Bye-bye.